Hello everyone. In this video we're going to show you how Kerber roasting works. Kerber roasting is an attack that specifically targets Kerberos. In our last video we talked about the principal, who is a network user, the authentication service, which is part of the KDC, or the Key Distribution Center, and the service or service or server that the user is actually trying to access, represented by the ice cream here. To simplify our illustration, let's forget about the authentication service and the desired server. Kerber roasting is only possible with authenticated network users or a network user account that has been compromised by an attacker who now has control of an internal user's account. Kerber roasting can be done by any low-level network user, and here's how it works. The attacker sends a request to the Key Distribution Center's ticket granting service, basically asking for a ticket for a service account. The KDC sends the ticket back to the requester and encrypts it with the password hash of the service account, not the password itself. That's an important distinction. Kerberos doesn't store plain text passwords. Once the attacker has the ticket, the ciphertext ticket, he will go offline and he'll try to figure out the password to the service account. How does he do this? Well, I'm so glad you asked. He uses tools to try and brute force guess the password. He already knows the encryption algorithm because it's easy to glean from the ticket itself. So basically, he tries a bunch of passwords using his tools, and as soon as the ciphertext he produces matches the ciphertext of the ticket, he knows which password created the ciphertext, and now has the password to the service account. And now, if the service account has full admin privileges, the attacker can access any service on the network. Here are some tips on how to prevent it. You'll want to enforce very strong and complex passwords. You'll want to prevent interactive logins on service accounts. And interactive refers to logins that are human-based, such as through a keyboard input. You should consider having managed services for automatic password rotations for service accounts. No admin accounts. This means don't use an administrator account as a service account. Limit permissions, also known as least privilege. And last but not least, don't set the service account password to never expires. So now you really know what Kerber roasting is and how to prevent it. I hope you learned something in this video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.